<laughs> that was totally unnecessary. All right, how are you guys doing today? Uh, for, for today, I have an episode on doing some fancier uh, image transitions. That's what I wanted to say. All right, so I've seen this across the internet and I'll, I thought I'd show you how to do it. So this is what I mean. Take a look. We have this image here and it just kind of flows and transitions to the other one when we hover over it. And the cool thing is if we go here to VS Code, we can also just transition it to the same image uh, to give this gooey kind of vibe to it. But before we get going, I want to thank Skillshare for sponsoring this video. If you're interested in learning stuff, like me, a bunch of different stuff. Uh, then Skillshare has over 35,000 courses on development, on design, and pretty much everything you can think of. Right now I'm learning how to draw uh, because my drawing skills are lacking a bit, so it's perfect for me. Uh, I'm learning about composition and all those good stuff. And so, hey, join up. There's a link down in the description. If the first 500 of you that join will get two months for free. Super awesome thing is that you can also just browse through each course. You don't have to pay for each individually. And then you're like, no, I don't like this instructor. Why you do this to me? So you can just click and just browse through whatever course you like and you can watch it once you sign up. So that's very cool. And the annual subscription, it's less than $10 a month, which I think is a very, very good deal. So. Thanks again for Skillshare. Check out the link in the description to sign up for two months free. And let's get into the image transitions. Okay, everybody, let's get going. Now, to be honest, this effect is quite difficult to make. You, you think like something like this is very, very simple, but it's not that simple. Uh, so we're going to use a package for it. Uh, don't worry, it's super small. It's like six kilobytes. But what it does is it combines GSAP, which is an animation library, and 3JS uh, to generate uh, a transition effect between one picture and another picture using a displacement image. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Don't worry. Uh, we're gonna. I'm gonna show you how everything basically works. But it's quite complicated. So using a package like this will make everything very, very simple. Okay. So the first thing we're gonna need is we're gonna go to cdn.js and we're gonna need tween max. All right. So I'll search for tween max. This is the one. Uh, so let's add it to the project. Let's actually make an index.html because we don't have that like that. Let's generate an empty thing here. And I'm just going to add some basic text as well. I'm going to create a landing here and I'm going to add some text just so this is not so empty. OK, I'm going to do another intro div and just to add some text here, it's going to be uh, blend your emotions. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm going to add a P tag also with lorem 10 to generate some text. Okay. Now outside of this intro, I'm going to add a diff here with the class of distortion. All right. And this is where we actually are going to inject those images. Okay. So this is where that's going to be. Perfect. Hit save. And that's all we need here. And finally, we can just add uh, the necessary packages to create this effect. So tween max, that's the one. So I'm going to copy the script tag and just place it right down here in the body. That's good. Uh, the second thing we're going to need is which one did we get? Tween max. Okay. <laughs> we need to get uh, 3JS. So just search 3JS on CDN. Let's get that as well. Uh, let's get the minified. So let's copy script tag. I'm going to place it below. And then we're going to use that package that I told you about that kind of combines all of these together. So the effect is called hover effect by Robin Della. This is the one we're going to use. So navigate to that link and we can go to the distribution here and to the hover effect UMD. So this is the one we need. Uh, you can download everything here and just grab this file and add, add it to your project. Or if you're stupid like me, you can just hit raw here and just do it old school style and copy paste this. Uh, so I'm just going to add a hover.js here and paste this in. Okay. Uh, so we can add it down here. And we can add a source and just drop this in here. And finally, we can make ours, which is app.js. And let's also link this. I know this is this is getting too crazy, huh? OK, let's do app.js. Hit save. That's all we need. I promise. I promise. Well, we can add the font. But hey, if you hate me right now, we don't need to add the font. 
Um, okay, so cool. How do we add the images? Well, you need to search for some images. I found these two off pickle.com, uh, pexels.com. Just use whatever you like. I'm gonna add these two, so copy these. I'm gonna paste it in here. Why can I not paste? All right, I'll do it manually, VS Code drop this in there. Okay, and lastly, what we need is one of those displacement images. And you can find it again here on Robin Della's uh, GitHub page. So we can go to images and search for the ones that have a PNG extension like rect or strip. And as you can see, this kind of is just a way that, that an, an image that blends your transition. So if we add this, it's gonna have that rectangular kind of transition. I'm gonna show you one or two and you can kind of pick whatever you like. I used height map for this one. So you can download this one if you want. I'm gonna hit download, just control save. I actually added this. Let me add it, let me add it again, okay? Perfect, let's go back here to our code. I'm gonna rename this to, let's add this, all right, from displacement. Okay, let's go into our app.js and get this up and running. Let's see what happens right now. So if we open live server, we have absolutely nothing. So that's great. Well, all we need here is to generate a new hover effect. So we're initializing that library. And this is a function that we run here and it takes an object, okay? And the, this object takes a few parameters. So here is where we define what pictures we're gonna use and how strong the effect is gonna be and things of that sort. So first off, I'm gonna select the parent. And what the parent is, is it's gonna be basically this distortion. So where the images are gonna be injected in. Okay, so you're just gonna do like a normal document.query selector here. All right, and we just add that distortion. So this is where we place our images, comma. Second thing is gonna be intensity. And this is basically how strong your effect is gonna be. Two point, I'm gonna say 0 0.2. And we're gonna mess around with this, so don't worry. Image one is gonna be your first image that you wanna display. So for me, it's gonna be dot slash bv1.jpg. And the second one, so image two, is gonna be bv2.jpg as well. Okay, we can also add that displacement. So we can say displacement image, and that's gonna be dot slash height map. Actually, I renamed this to this dot PNG. All right, it's safe. Let's take a look on what we got so far. Okay, so we, <laughs> we cannot see anything. For some reason, that div renders with zero height. I'm not sure why, so we can fix that. We can just create a style.css in here. So let's do that style.css, link this. All right, go to style.css, perfect. Let's go in here. And what I wanna do is get that distortion. I'm just gonna add some height to it. I think my picture has um, four, nine, 640 pixels and a height of 920 pixels, 920. All right, you can add whatever you like here. Let's just make sure that this shows up. So you have to re refresh this page right now for it to show up. But as you can see, it kind of works. Uh, let's just add a bit of basic styling up here. Uh, I'm gonna do landing and display flex, justify content, space around and I'm gonna add a height of 100 VH, okay? Perfect, let's make some text bigger here. Let's grab the intro, H1, let's make this font size 50 pixels. And let's also make intro P, like font size, let's do 25, hit save. All right, this is what we have. Something's wrong, I'm not sure what. I made H2, not H1. So let's change that to H2. Good, and let's also push this down here. So I want this to be center. So we can just grab the intro and we can just add, add an align self center to this. 
There we go. If I want to push this down, oh, I spoiled the effect. Oh no, we can also push this down if we want. We can just go to the distortion and say align self. I'm going to say flex end to this. So it kind of sticks at the bottom there. Okay, let's take a look. Pretty cool. So as you can see, that displacement image uh, kind of takes form of our image. And that's what is actually transitioning it. Very cool. Let's slow this down. So let me kind of show you the intensity as well. If we raise this to 0.9, it's going to be super strong. You can kind of mess around. I like to leave it either at 0.1 because it's just subtle. It's not that strong. Or you can do 0.2. That's, I think, fine too. But hey, whatever floats your boat. Who am I to tell you what to do? You can do whatever you want. Um, yeah, so that's it. We can also mess around with the angles a bit. I believe the default angle it has, so all you have to do is write angle. The default one they use is math.pi uh, divided by four. So I think that's the default one. Let's take a look. Yeah, so that's the default one. You can mess around with this. I added uh, divided by eight. That's gonna give you a different one. Everyone, that's kind of weird. I like that. So it kind of goes in an upwards direction there. So yeah, just mess around with this. I'm gonna take this out and I'm gonna leave the default one. All right, let's leave it like that. You can also speed it up or slow it down. I believe, where was it? Let's go back here to the GitHub. Uh, you can also mess around with the intensity. So that's what we have, angle, speed in and speed out. So if we want to slow this down, speed in. So this is the one that's coming in, the first image. I can add two seconds here. We can also say speed out and we can put that to like five seconds. Now that's crazy a lot, so don't do this. But as you can see now, it just takes way more time. Okay, very cool. Let me quickly, I'm gonna remove these. I'm gonna leave the default. Let me quickly show you the different effects you can also get with different displacement images. So this is what's fun about this. You can experiment with a lot of dif different displacement images to get crazy effects. So let's go back here to the, not source, to the images, and let's get this one with the stripe, okay? Let's save this. I'm going to drop it in here as stripe one. Let's take a look. All I have to do is just replace the displacement image to stripe one. Hit save. So as you can see, the displacement image basically takes shape of our image. So that's very cool. But hey, experiment with different ones and see what you can come up with. So yeah, let me know if you want to see more animations. Leave it down in the, in the description. I cannot speak anymore. You're also a king. So I'm not sure if you can see that you're a king of my heart. And the card is going to disappear. It's going to come back. And if we grab it this way, then it also goes away. So okay, I'm leaving. Goodbye.